I'm OG, y'all new to the game. When does the world government consider Luffy a true threat to the world government? First time Luffy was considered a threat was when he received his 30 million bounty after the corrupt Marines reported his activity in the East Blue. Since 30 million was the highest they could hand out to someone in the weakest of the seas they discussed him during one of their meetings. During this time he was only another pirate that Marines had to deal with. Second time Luffy was considered a threat was when people heard he defeated Sir Crocodile one of the warlords. This time his actions was discussed among Marines ranking Vice Admiral and above whereas the first time it was only Captains. Third time when he forced the Marines to bust or colonize Lobby to Oblivion and defeated the leader of CP9 who was known for being undefeated they could no longer ignore him. And the five Elder Stars started talking about him and his action, at which point his existence as a threat was set in stone. So, you could say that he was considered a threat after the events of Kakayashi Village, where he received his first bounty of 30 million berries. However, if you're asking about when did the government start to consider him a possible threat to themselves is after the defeat of Crocodile, and he cemented that possibility with Luffy's action at Annie's lobby. Luffy just beat Crocodile without his title Q as a warlord, it would earn him a big reputation amongst pirates and maybe marines, considering he was a new world veteran. But not as much with the government because if he was not a warlord, Crocodile was just another semi-strong pirate in the government's eyes. However, the government takes defeating Warler as a huge problem, because they don't know that Luffy only did it on his own free will and not out of political agenda or as an act of rebellion against the government. Thus, they increased his bounty more than threefold and started observing him closely. It was after the events of the Nye's lobby that they saw him as a real threat to them and started taking certain measures to GE rid of him or lessen his influence covering some of his actions, sending more marines, kuma or pacifistas after him or increasing his bounty. He and his crew broke into one of their most important islands, defeated their second most powerful cipher pull intelligence, freed a dangerous criminal and caused the destruction of that island via a buster call. Oh, all the things he did after the events of an eyes lobby defeating Mariah, punching Charlos. Breaking into impel down or crashing war of the best is done after the government considered him a real threat and not just a random pirate who got lucky. After he raided Big Mom's island, took out two of her three sweet commanders, including one that had a bounty of one billion, he got a new bounty. If this new bounty doesn't spell out the words true threat then I don't know what does. Not connected to the question, but I just wanted to say that I love Shank's reaction to this. Totally astounded and has almost no words.